everyone, and welcome to the world's most popular and newest game show called Are You Smarter Than an AP Student? I'm your host, Kara Stevenson. Today, our two contestants are Fiona O'Malley, AP student, and Rachel Rowland, regular English student. Today's topic is AP terms. Let's get started! I'm so excited! Yeah. Chicken. Okay, contestants, there are a few simple rules. I'll give you your word that you need to define, and if you define it correctly, you win whatever is behind the curtain. Fiona, you're up first, and the word you need to define is fallacy. Just to help you out, here's an example of your term. There is nothing out there, dear. Who do you imagine wants to attack children like yourself? Oh, I don't know, maybe Lord Voldemort. Let me make this quite plain. You have been told that a certain dark wizard is at large once again. This is a lie. Okay, the definition of a fallacy is an incorrect belief based on faulty data, defective evidence, false information, or flawed logic. That's correct, Fiona. Marta, show her what she's won behind curtain number one. You won a John Deere LT180 automatic. It comes in our nation's favorite colors, green and yellow. Beep, beep. Congrats, Fiona. Now our second contestant, Rachel Roland, is up. You're going for the prize behind curtain number two. In order to win, you need to define the AP term burlesque. Hit me with it. Here's a clip of burlesque. Good afternoon. In the past few weeks, through our national hotline, we have collected hundreds of names of suspected terrorists, and I'm proud to say that most of these calls have come from high school and college students nationwide. <laughs> We are also currently searching for a man we believe to be an Al-Qaeda lieutenant who's been Farteen, his <laughs> cousin. <laughs> I've been Farteen. Question over there. Yes, uh, is, is there a way to identify who's been Farteen? Uh, our op operatives have picked up his scent. <laughs> Also, according to our intelligence, he is targeting gas refineries and fertilizer plants, and oddly enough, baked bean canneries. <laughs> he is a silent but deadly killer. Yo, I ain't learned nothing about that yet, man. Um, unfortunately, Rachel, that's incorrect. Good try, though. The correct definition is a work of literature meant to ridicule a subject, a grotesque imitation. Marta, show her what she could have won. You could have won a brand new dog. That's too bad that you didn't, Rachel. His name is Onomatopoeia. He's so cute. This is an outrage. That's our show, folks. Tune in next week, Sunday at 8 p.m. to watch Andrew Crouch and Nick Paley as our next 